speaking of a difficult endeavor, I understand you've got one coming up. I would <laughs> yeah. think Michigan Mission uh, 31. You are going to live underwater for 31 days in June. Tell us about this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we just announced it this week. Uh, we're splashing down June 1st, and I'm taking a team of six aquanauts to live and work underwater in the only undersea marine laboratory in the world for 31 days. And we'll be going out and diving 10 to 12 hours a day to bring back all sorts of uh, wonderful, uh, wonderful news, I hope. I'm sure the, the news and, and the discoveries will be amazing, but what does it do to your body? Well, and, and that's one of the, uh, the things that we'll be looking out for. There's just a lot of unknowns. Uh, there have been fewer aquanauts in history than there have ever been astronauts. And uh, one of the things that astronauts, NASA astronauts, do nowadays is to train at this marine laboratory first so that they can feel and experience similar uh, parameters to what it's going to be like to live in outer space. So you can call this the inner space station. With, uh, with one exception, we can actually communicate uh, via Wi-Fi uh, through Skype in the classroom and our Nokia Lumia devices to go and, and share in real time with the world, with the public, what's going on down there and our new discoveries. So we're really excited about that. How big is your team? The, the total team is about 24 people. So for uh, every six people down below, you have about 18 people topside to make sure that everything goes just right. We have to, of course, train hard physically beforehand and, of course, make sure that we're ready to be in a, uh, living in a small enclosed environment, a bit mm. akin to a New York apartment. <laughs> oh, hey, listen, really quickly, we only have a couple seconds left, but I did want to ask you, based on everything you know about Flight 370 and the investigation into it, do you believe that they're searching the right area? It's really hard to tell. Uh, I, you know, the, the evidence just isn't there yet, and although they've found some pings, uh, it, it's still very disparate information. I, I certainly hope so, considering the, the vast efforts and, and monies that are being put to this, and of course, for those families who have lost loved ones. Absolutely. And, you know, there's, this technology is being used in ways that it was not designed uh, to be used. Fabian Cousteau, thanks so much uh, for talking with us about 370, and good luck on Mission 31. We'll be watching. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.